Hello, hello, good afternoon. I am Rebecca Redican. Call me Becky, feel free. If you've not seen me before, I've done a couple of hours on The Late Show and I'm gonna be one of your presenters when we go to a full 12 hours in the, the start of November. Now, we are here with you today with a live masterclass and I am joined by the delectable Laura Binding. Hi, Laura. Hiya. <laughs> we are going to be looking at uh, some wire work today, aren't we? Yes, we are. A nice Got wire work pendant. How exciting. We're going to have a little look at some of the pendants you've made for us already. Where have they gone? Oh, they're here. These are beautiful. If I show you some of these that we've got. So you've got some with Jasper and some with your silver wire. What gauges have you used on these ones, Laura? One mil wire and uh, 0.4. Brilliant. So this is what we're going to be bringing you today. And Laura's going to be showing how to make these absolutely gorgeous little pendants. They look so intricate. Are you going to make it seem really easy, Laura? Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. So we will start by having a little look. We're going to be doing loads of wire, loads of beautiful gemstones today. We're going to start off with some jasper and some silver. So if I bring this over to you. We're going to do the toolkit first, actually. I'm lying. My talk back is crackly today. OK, so we have got here for you the kit. Now, this is uh, the Lazy Daisy tool. Is this essential, Laura? Yeah, it's, for this? it's brilliant because it's got everything you need in it, you know, it, and it's compact and you can take it anywhere. Brilliant. Absolutely fab. So we can, we're going to have a little look at this. I'm going to get it out. Sorry, whoever has to put this back in. So we've got in here, uh, oh, we've got some wire in here. You've got some of your natural copper tan. Uh, we've also got a pin. You've got a cute little case here. What else have we got? You've got your mat. Laura, what's this? It's a draw plate. So when you've made the weave and you take it off of the actual tool, then you draw it for the draw plate to, to reduce the size and it will lengthen the weave as well. Oh, that's so clever. How yeah. brilliant. And then I suppose you can make sure that it's definitely all the same isn't it yeah fabulous so we've got <coughs> this you've got your tool as well which is the most essential part isn't it this little your tweeler yeah the actual the actual um, daisy itself the lazy daisy tool itself yeah brilliant and you've also got a little set of instructions on the back there which is really helpful too so this is absolutely essential you're going to be showing us how to play with this shortly aren't you um, I'm not I'm not actually going to be showing how to do the viking it but we do have a DVD where we um, show exactly how, how to use the tool and, and produce the designs. Fabulous. Well, we'll be uh, selling the DVD shortly if you want to get that. So this is your kit. You have got everything you need in here to get the perfect Viking knit. All of this for £29.95. It will show you absolutely everything you need. Like I say, there is the instructions in there. Also, you have got your 4 mil wire, your 04 mil. And you've got your Lazy Daisy tool and obviously your travel bag in there. So you can take it anywhere with you. And this is the type of thing you don't need loads of equipment for it, do you? No, everything that you need is in there. It even comes with little cutters. Brilliant. So you, you can cut the wire. You, you know, all you need is your wire, really. And that's Fab. it. You can, I, mine lives in my bag with me. I love it. Have you ever done something like this on the train? I do do it on the train. Yeah, yeah. I would. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly the type of thing I'd do on the train as well. Uh, so absolutely everything you need in here, just £29.95, OK? So absolutely fab price on that. It's moving. OK, well, we will go on to our first bundle now. First off, we're going to start off with our gorgeous Jasper. Now, I've shown you the pendants that Laura's going to be making, and these really are exactly what you need to create this look. So we've got here, if I show you this strand first, you've got your Jasper here. This absolutely gorgeous green that you only get from a Jasper. These are 500 carats worth you'll get in here of this green ocean Jasper cut into the ovals. It's 30 mil by 22 mil. Absolutely gorgeous, really beautiful size stones here. I love in this Jasper how you've got all those different tones, all those different lines. Some of them are really, really opaque. Some of them you cannot see through at all, but some of them you have got that gentle detail that you can almost see through just with that natural glittery color that you get only with the beautiful Jasper. So as well as this, 
as well as with your ovals, you're also getting two different gauges of your wire, which you're going to need to really encase these beautiful jasper you've got here. You've got um, 10 meters of your one mil silver plated copper wire, and you've got 10 meters of your silver plated copper wire in the 0.4 mil. So, Laura, can you tell me why is it so important to have two different gauges of your wire when you're doing this? Uh, one mil wire is what I call the base wire, yeah. Um, and then the uh, point four is what I call the weaving wire, and that's what I use to weave around the actual base wires. And then you can create the frame. So obviously, when you're doing sections, you need that stronger wire because it's got the strength to hold. Yeah. And then you can weave onto it, and then you can manipulate it and form the pendant. Brilliant. So the the thinner is kind of for the more detailed, yeah. intricate wiry bits and then your one mils for the basis of yeah. it your foundation yeah. I like that good I, even I could understand that <laughs> <laughs> brilliant so absolutely gorgeous these really essential we are going to be using these shortly to see what we're going to be making your price on these for today is 21 pound 35 absolutely brilliant I like the 35 we don't see it often that 35p less than a 50 it sounds much better you've got your gorgeous string of jasper here don't forget you've got 500 carats worth of your green ocean jasper in this absolutely gorgeous really nice weighty and if your customers are anything like me as soon as you feel the weight of these you instantly think quality you know how it feels around your neck, the weight of it, really, really. And don't forget, this is a genuine gemstone that we're giving you here. A huge strand there of really beautiful size and your two gauges of wire for just £21.35. And if you have joined us on the show this morning, you might have already bought some things from us. Don't forget, even included in the masterclass is your postage and packaging for the whole day. So if you've already got something from us this morning, whack this in your basket as well. You won't have to pay any extra on your postage and packaging. So absolutely gorgeous. Okay. I think we're gonna have a little wander over to okay. you now, Laura, if that's all right. Because I just can't wait. I'm too <laughs> excited. I don't want to stop. So we're going to go and join Laura over here and see how to make these amazing little pendants you've got. I'm excited. Oh, good. I can't wait. <laughs> what colours are we going to be working with first? We're going to be working with one that... Oops. I've already cut it. That was my fault. Um, no one with noticed. the jasper and the silver. Gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. Going to have a look at the one you've made as previous. How lovely is this? I love this. Do you know what it reminds me of? It's like a silver birch tree. You ever seen a silver birch? No, I haven't. Oh, well, up north we have loads of them. <laughs> and a silver birch tree has got the same colour green leaves and the oh. bark on it rips off. I used to rip it off and write on it and pretend I was an Egyptian. <laughs> that is not a lie. I used to pretend it was like papyrus. <laughs> anyway, it's the same colours. Oh. It's absolutely gorgeous, like a really... Foresty. We've got one in my daughter's school because she's in silver birch. Her classes are named after oh. growing trees. Oh, so I she's a silver that. birch. So she'll show me the tree. When oh, I go to... well, <laughs> I go tell her. You can write on the bar. I won't tell her that. <laughs> no, probably shouldn't. <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so how are we going to start this okay. off, Laura? <clears throat> okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start off with just a wire for the moment. Mm -hmm. And where we start with this is I'm going to start with the bale. Okay. Okay. So what I want to do, um, you've not worked with me before, so you don't know how I measure. <laughs> I don't measure. <laughs> I just take a length okay. and cut it. But when, um, depending on the size of the stone, um, this one's quite a small stone. Okay. Um, so obviously if it was a bigger stone, you'd want to allow more wire because it's got a bigger area to cover. Right. Okay, but just for this sample, what I want to do is I just want a length of wire, probably about a half a metre, maybe just over. Okay. Um, I always like to work with more wire and find that I can cut off the excess and then put that to one side rather than finding I've gone a bit short and then it, it can affect the design. So it's easy, it's better to have Good more. Tip. So what I'm going to do is cut off three lengths of this wire and I'm using the one mil here. So those are sort of half a metre, would you say? Well, roughly. It's just about an arm's length. Just arms under an arm's length. length. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, right, so I've got those. Okay, and all I'll do is just run my fingers across. I just want them to just straighten them a little bit. Um, you can use your straighteners if you've got nylon pliers, just to straighten the wires a little bit. Okay, I tend to just use my hands. Okay. Um, right, so now I'm gonna use the 0.4 wire. 
um, and I'm going to start with a weave. I don't know the name of the weaves, I, I tend to just do the weaves, but this weave is um, a very effective one. Okay. Um, when you do this, you can actually work from the reel, so you don't actually have to cut the wire off. Um, by doing that, it reduces the amount of joints you have to put into it, so if you can do as much perfect. as you can on one reel of wire, then you're not going to have any little cuts that may Oh, that's come clever. Up. Yeah, I see. Okay, so you don't need to cut the wire at this point, you can just keep it on the reel. So I'm going to do start off with one wire whenever you do this i build up okay so i've got my first wire i'm really sorry to interrupt i'm just being told that my producer ed made a big mistake <laughs> tell me what it is again ed because my talkbacks ed didn't set the price he was busy <laughs> I don't know what he was doing. <laughs> he was busy. And and uh, producer Chloe set the price for us, which was amazing. Now, Ed, what what's going on? It should have been lower. No, don't be silly. You haven't just let her down. You've let yourself down, Ed, to be honest. You've let everyone down. <laughs> but but you haven't let the JMs down if it's going to be cheaper. Ooh. Stop. Is, <laughs> what's that for? For that bundle? You'd sell that... one pendant for that. You'd sell, and you can make two pendants with um, out of this set. Um, you'll have lots of one mil left over, but this you use about five meters of the 0.4 per pendant. So you would, make, you would make two pendants out of that. So you'd get your money back with just one pendant being sold, if not more. That's amazing. I was gonna say, for the work and the detail yeah, that goes in this, Really, really amazing price. You have to get it now. <laughs> for the Jasper and your 10 metres of one mil and your 10 metres of 0.4, just £14.95. Bring it on over again. For all of this, okay, for your 30 by 22 mil Jasper and your two gauge wire here, all of that, it was a bargain before at over £20. It's even better now. Fourteen ninety five. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. Sorry for interrupting. Oh, no, that's fine. I've just got to tell you about these bargains you get into. Yeah, definitely, definitely, and that is a bargain. Okay, that definitely is. I'm blaming Ed. <laughs> Continue. Okay. So what I'm doing is I've got one piece of wire. Mm -hmm. Now, what I want to do is actually work. Sorry, I'll try not to, to stab you. <laughs> Don't worry, it's fine. <laughs> um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be working from the end. So I want to work probably about three or four inches. Um, from the end and my wire I'm going to work my weave towards the end of the wire okay the reason being I've got all this area now to weave if I started off down here it's going to be a lot harder because see the wires getting in my way I get you so that's why I start up this end just do it bit by bit okay and it also helps you with your tension as well because if you wrap this too tight you won't be able to move any of the wires you need to be able to move this um, weave down the wire I see yeah okay so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to anchor my wire um, my weaving wire, my 0.4 wire, onto the what I'm going to call these the base wires, so it's the one mil wire. So leaving a little tail, just holding up my thumb, just going to wrap about three times. Just put it together. I've just got a tiny little coil. It's just keeping it nice and um, anchored on, and I'm still holding that little tail with my thumb. So now, when I start using this, I've got, if you can see, I've got the tail up there, and so I can actually get a firm grip now. Okay. So I'm going to put the second wire on top. The second base wire. Yeah. Now what I'm going to do is the one that's already got the wire on, I'm just going to gently kick out like this and you'll see why in a minute. It makes it easier when we do the weave to get the weaving wire between the wires. Brilliant. Okay. Clever. Yeah. So now I'm bringing my wire up and it's just going to go over. So if I can do this a little bit in reverse for you, bear in mind I'm doing this in reverse. So the wire's gone up over, the two wires together, Okay, that's it, just there. So you can see, if I put it together, I've got a little bit where I've anchored it, and then I've got the three wires going over both, uh, the, the weaving wire going over three times over both these wires. Okay. Now I'm gonna add another one. This is gonna go on top. Bear in mind I'm doing this in reverse. And I would just bend that one up as well. So now, you can see, I've got my wire one up, one down, one in one the middle. In middle yeah. It means I can get through the mm -hmm. wires and I don't get confused. Okay. The wire is at the back. Okay. So what I'm going to do is just bring it up over the front and then around. <laughs> so it's only going to go over the top two wires, the middle and the top wire. And I'm going to do that three times as well. 
You'll always do it in threes. Okay. Each wrap will be done in threes. Right. Okay. My wire's back at the back again now. So I'm going to bring it down and over the bottom and middle wire. Okay. One, two. Three times again. Three. Yeah. It's back at the back now. So I'm going to just bring it back over the front. So I, so I, just there we go. What am I doing? Ah, that's it. It's hard doing it backwards, yeah. isn't it? Because I'm going backwards. <laughs> so I'm bringing it over the front and then it's going to again. And what we're going to do is it just goes around in twos. So you basically wrap the top two, the bottom two, top two, bottom two. Can you All see that? All three times. Yes. Right. Well, you can do three, twos, four, whatever, but always the same number. Great. Just to give you a different look. Yeah. So now, if you look, I don't know if you can see, but the wires will pull slightly together. So what I'm going to do is take in flat nose pliers. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just, you need to do this at really regular intervals, but I'm actually just sort of going over the whole weave and then it straightens all the wires and they sit back on top of each other. And you can okay, straighten yeah. it with your pliers. Yeah. You can oh, straighten it with your pliers and neaten it up, okay? Yeah. Um, but basically, every time you do, a, say, two or three wraps, just keep going along and doing that. Get your IC. Okay, so I'm going to cut that and go to one I made earlier. Oh, we know. Ta da! Being organised. That is so professional, I Laura. <laughs> <laughs> it makes a change, I know. <laughs> okay. So about, to get a nice size bale, right. you would want about, um, if you count the wraps on one side, so I'd yeah. count one, two, three, I think it's about 14. I'll go for about 13 to 14, but you just count them at the top, mm -hmm. and then that makes a nice little size bale. So. so does that depend on how big you want this yeah. bale hole to be? Yeah. So obviously to make it bigger, you do more. Yeah. yeah. Right, brilliant. I, I quite stuff. like, I find that's a nice size. You can put Viking knit chain through it, you can put leather through it, you can put Kimihimo, macrame, anything through it. Brilliant. Makes it versatile. Fab, okay. great, yeah. So I've already done this. Now I have cut the wire, just because I've, I've pre-prepared this, but I would have kept this on the reel, so I would still have my wire attached. attached. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now what I'm going to do is move. So I'm going to take the base wires and I'm going to pull them through a bit. Okay. I want to do it to sort of around about um, halfway, maybe just slightly off of halfway. Yeah. Okay. It doesn't really matter. There's no wrong or right. So my weave's now in the middle ish and I've got my wire here and here. So now I'm going to take my stone. Mm -hmm. When you do this, bear in mind, if your stone is patterned, because these have got some lovely patterns on them, Absolutely turn them over, gorgeous. look at it, and decide. Make sure you decide what's going to be the top and the bottom as well, and put it on the way that you want to put it on. Brilliant. Okay, now what yeah. I'm going to do is I'm just going to spread the wires, two of the wires just out like this, and I'm going to pop my stone on the middle wire. Okay. I will put it on there. And that fits through that yep, hole really goes easily, lovely, doesn't yeah. it? So you pull it right up, okay? Now I'm gonna take the wire, now bear in mind you can make, decide what's your front or your back. So this is gonna be the front, so what I'm gonna do is bend this wire so it's nice and, um, yep there, so it's nice and close. And then what I want to do is bring it around the middle wire again but underneath the arms. So if you look, if you can see, the arms are up and I've just wrapped around that middle wire. Underneath. Just underneath there. So now that wire's just coming out to the side. Brilliant. Okay, and then you've got the wires here and the wires here. So really easily then, you just picked which side you wanted, yep. you took the wire around the other side yep. and then looped under the arms. Yeah, so you can see that's the back of it. Brilliant. Okay, and that wire's come under, underneath these arms here, and just, just it's only wrapped just once. Yeah, and just, just to hold it, it. Yeah, just Fab. to lock it in place. Great. So now, it does look a bit like a, a wire spider at this point. <laughs> um, <laughs> if you've got the little tail, this is where you can cut that off, just when you first anchored the wire on. Yeah. You can cut that off, that's fine. Okay. So now, I've got the other three wires that are coming out the other side of the bale. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to put one, the left one, on its own mm -hmm. that way and the other two just going that way okay okay now I want to actually form the bale you can use pliers you've got a bale making pliers if not you can just use your finger or something like round those pliers you can have a little look on our website for those pliers if you haven't got them everything Laura is using of course is on our website yeah. so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to fold this over and I'm going over towards the back see there's the back there yeah 
and you just and it will just come nice and easily together and then those wires are all going to come to the front okay now what I'm doing is the one that um, went to the left on its own yep I'm just going to wrap that again try and lift all your arms up and wrap it around the base once bring it round and then with the other two just repeat they're going to go around the base as well and to the other side so they're to back the opposite direction. but it's all just locking it all into place get you. this all gets hidden by the weave so don't worry about oh it's looking quite wiry up there because we covered that with a weave yeah okay so if I just show you that's what it's looking like at the front okay and I'm going to turn it around you've got that at the back okay yep. so then we need to now know we're going to start another weave now okay okay so these wires can just kind of move out the way so what you'll do is when you look at it they'll naturally form themselves into the right position okay um, I can see these two here are in a nice sort of um, angular sort of angle yeah. yeah so I'm actually just going to move that one out of the way and actually going to use these two look at it you know the whole point is you look at it and think yeah they're in a nice natural position I'm going to use them so you're kind of working with the wire yeah. as opposed to against it yeah definitely um, and so what I'm going to do bear in mind my wire would still be attached and it would now be at this point yeah okay which is why it makes it nice and fluid because mm -hmm. um, I haven't got mine attached you can still attach it if you do cut it um, so I'm just going to quickly anchor that if you ever do need to add wire just anchor it before you actually start working with it okay. brilliant yeah get you so now what I want to do is I'm going to I've got my wire on one piece so I'm going to bring it to the other opposite wire wrap it around once wrap it back around and bring it through the middle yeah and then it's going to come over to the other side wrap it around that wire once wrap it wrap back around and bring it through the middle over to the other side so I'll just if I can do that in slow so I'm wrapping it around this wire and every time I wrap it I push it nice and close to the weave yep and bring it back so over really tight in. yeah back over through the middle and over to the other side so it's going to go over the top wire it's going to go back around it's in and the middle to the other. over to the other side so okay. you're doing it twice on both in a way yeah. aren't you it's almost like a double wrap so you're going over and then back around to the other side you'll always go through the middle so around back around through the other side through the other so you just keep going every time just push it nice and close with your finger round it, one over and both and round one yeah okay. so it's gone through around back around through the middle yeah to the other side around back around through the middle so you're looking for this almost sort of pyramid ladder effect across yeah. the two aren't you it's gonna make it really nice and it builds up really quickly yeah now a little trick what happens sometimes they can go a bit bumpy okay and what would happen is if you don't if you sometimes catch if you can see there the wire sat on the weave as opposed to being next to it yeah and then that will create it to look bumpy or if you don't pull it tight what you can see is I'm actually pulling it quite tight um, before I take it over to the other side so if you don't that's when you get the sort of looser so weaves. you've just got to really keep the tension and keep pushing yeah. it up each yeah. time Brilliant. you can actually hold the weave itself like this as you mm -hmm. start to build it and then you'll get a real sort of it won't pull the wires in because you have got to be careful because you can pull the wires in like this obviously if you pull too tight all right but you can just readjust them okay yeah so can you do me a favor just one more time will you show me that weave for yeah, me yeah sure no problem just so i can just double check i've got it okay so my wires i'm planning here. on doing this at home that's why i'm <laughs> asking again <laughs> okay so my wires here yeah oh just make sure that there you go so i've got my base wire here so yeah. i'm going around yeah push it nice and close back around through the middle yeah again push it nice and close and then it's going over to this one that's it's going so around easy, isn't it? back around again nice and close and back to the other side so so it's around, around push around push yeah over always the push it nice and close <laughs> around push around yeah yeah push it nice and close through the middle Got to it. that side and you'll you'll get into a rhythm and it'll build really quickly and these make really beautiful woven bales as well so you, you can, can actually do that really fast can't you uh, yeah I, just, I mean I'm, i do this all the time so i'm quite used to it so yeah. you, once you get used to it hold it nice and tight brilliant just bring it round and round okay so you, what you would do 
I'm going to show you it on here. It's just this is the back section, yeah. and it's just this bit running down here that we've created there, literally just with the loop over, push down, loop over, push down. Yeah. Switch the legs, loop over, push <laughs> down, loop <laughs> over, push down. <laughs> Okay. So that's we've just literally done that little bit yeah. there, haven't we? Okay. Fab. So here's one I wove earlier. So you can see there how I've done the weave. Okay. Yeah. And what I've done is you'll see I've only actually gone to about three quarters of the way down um, the stone. Mm -hmm. um, and then with the wire still, that same piece of wire, I just coiled, hand coiled, all the way down. Just on one piece Just of on the one, one gauge, piece, yeah. Though. And then I've cut it because what I'm going to do is this is going to form a spiral. So if you look on that pendant here, mm -hmm. it's going to form this spiral just here. Okay. Okay. This little that one just there. Yeah. Fab. Okay. So you want to cut it to about enough that you're going to be able to form that spiral, and then wire coil your wire all the way to the end of it, and then that's ready to spiral. So I'll just quickly Lovely. spiral that for you. Okay. So okay. you're using the round nose. To yep. Pliers, using the round nose pliers. So what I want to do is you can move all your wires yeah. out of the way. So I'm just going to, you got it there, yeah. Just right at the end, what you'll see is there's a tiny little bit of the base wire still coming through. Yeah. Um, and that's so that I can get a good grip on the wire and then turn it in. So you can see it just about there. I was just Lovely. gonna position it for you. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then it's just, just literally twirling it round. So you can see, and once you've formed the, shape. the sort of shape, you can yeah. mould it um, and tweak about with it. Okay, and then that'll sort of, you can sort of twist that and get that to sit how you want it to sit. So you can just do it however big a spiral yep. you want. Yep, I, I mean, that. obviously the bigger the stone, you might want to do a big spiral, it's Perfect. completely preferable, preference. Love it. We have got another bundle, actually, yep. which I'm going to show you. How exciting. Squeeze this on. Okay, we have got for you here, I'm going to show you this pendant. So this is with the same technique. Yep. So the same technique exactly that we are doing with Laura here now. We're just using a slightly different stone. This is is your Botswana agate here and we've got the gold colored copper wire here for you so this is your bundle absolutely lovely one here these stones are quite a bit bigger they are 40 mil by 30 mil let me show you these and wreck the studio <laughs> um, I absolutely love agate I've got to say especially Botswana agate because it's one of the better known ones and it's mainly well known because of this beautiful zonal color you're getting on this absolutely this is actually slightly more expensive just for the size of the stone if you were to buy it separately it would be more expensive however because we care about you so much, <laughs> we are going to match the price. £14.95, absolutely fabulous. These are bigger than your Jasper. Like I say, they are the 40 mil, uh, 40 millimeter by the 30 millimeter. I love, can you, oh, look at that one on the screen now, that absolutely gorgeous zonal color you get in here. And of course, you are still getting the same amount of wire. You're getting 10 meters of each the 0.4 mil and the 1 mil, this gold colored copper wire. And don't you love, I love the gold yeah. with this. Yeah, that's the first thing I did was um, out of the bundles, was the first bundle I chose to sit and have a play about with. Yeah. I love the colors, it's just beautiful. The colors just work perfectly, don't yeah. they? They're so natural, they've got those beautiful natural tones in there. And agate as well, so different, yeah, isn't it? Every single piece on this strand, it looks completely different to another. You've got some really gray ones, really brown ones, ones with lots of white, ones with a little bit of white. Do you think that inspires some of your pieces? Yeah. Looking at individual oh, definitely. ones. Definitely. You look at them and you see the patterns on them and you just think, wow, they're gorgeous. Um, and again, it's, um, I like sometimes to use the plainer ones yeah. for a design like this because you are going to be embellishing it and you don't always want to go over the design. Yeah. But then you've got the beautiful ones that you can do other things with as well, you know, so they're just so gorgeous. They are um, beautiful. But you can see now why I've said about the top and bottom. Yes. You can see, choose your stone. Choose I mean, that one's just one. stunning. So I would, wouldn't want to cover that with a swirl. So I'd want yeah. to make sure that I've got in the right place. Yeah. I love that. Brilliant. So that is your second bundle from us today. 
um, again creating the gorgeous pendants with the two colours you have got your gold coloured copper wire in the 0.4 mil and the 1 mil and you've got your very famous Botswana agate puffy ovals 40 mil by 30 mil absolutely stunning these these are a stop you in the street and notice piece. They really are, aren't they? So I do love this, but I'm going to move on because I want to know how to make it at home tonight, thanks. Yes. So sorry, can you carry on for yes, Laura? Yes, of course, no problem. Okay, so now you can see we've got that spiral there. We've got our woven section down the side. Um, the woven section don't really get to see that much of, but it gives a little bit of strength to the pendant itself, supports it a bit Brilliant. more as well. Um, and also it looks nice to the side. Okay, mm -hmm. so now I'm not going to worry about these wires over here for now. I'm still working on this side and this section. Brilliant. So I've got the other uh, wire, which is the other half of what we've just woven. And what I want to do with that, if I'm turning this pendant over, what I'm going to do is just kind of, sometimes you may need to lift this up a little bit, but it will go, it will, the right tool. Just a tiny little bit, just lift it up a tiny bit. And then what I'm going to do is just pop the, the wire through. So you're literally just making a bit of space there to yeah, feed so it I can through. feed the wire through. Great. And then what I'm going to do is use your finger, and you just want to. You don't want it to go right up here. You want it to be right at the bottom at the base, and just gently. You can see. What I'm doing there is I'm just pulling it around. Do you want it really tight? Quite tight, yeah. Okay. If you can. So just take that bit of time just to tighten it and I mean you can pull it, it doesn't matter if it goes on the back up a little bit but it's preferable, there you go, see. That it just drops slightly yeah, below. Yeah, just drops slightly below okay. and then that's there and then that makes this wire ready to go into position to go up the other side now. Get okay, you. Yeah. Okay, Clever. and again it keeps it secure, it's all about locking it in and keeping it secure. Okay. If your wire does get kinked along the way again just take your, your straighteners, well, the, the jaw pliers and just run them along it. I love those jewel players. I think they're great. Don't forget as well, if you do have any questions for Laura this afternoon about this or anything you like, we have <laughs> got another half an hour on the masterclass, so you have got time to text in. Yeah. Do you feel free? Any questions about the kit? It is 60777. She'll be more than happy to answer some of your questions for you. Make sure you do start your text with JM Studio so we know that it's coming to us. <laughs> okay, so just now, to put you under pressure, yeah, there, no, Laura. No, no pressure, no Hard stress. questions, please, please be nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what I want to do now is I've cut my wire from the rail already mm -hmm. when I did that spiral, so now I do need to start a new piece of wire. Um, and this little piece here, the one that we've just secured to the back, I'm going to want that to go up the pendant. Okay. Okay. So I want to create a coil that is basically going to sit at the whole half of the pendant. So I'm going to do. Is hand wrap a coil. Okay. Now we do have a gizmo and it does have five, uh, we have the deluxe one with the really fine um, gizmo in it and you can use that to create your own quicker coils. Um, I like them to be nice and tight to the actual base wire, I don't want it to be loose so it gives a nicer finish so it's okay. personal preference. What I'm doing is I'm just taking one of my longer pieces of wire because I'm just going to do the coil quickly and just literally again create a very quick tail and then I'm just using my hand just to hand wrap just scoot it up to make sure you've got it and keep going, okay? Now I have already done a coil. So I've got my coil here that I've already done. And what I'm going to do is just the, the um, end with the little tail. Oh, before I cut it off the reel, I gave myself quite a nice long length of wire so that I can continue weaving with it. Brilliant. Again, I'm trying to make it as seamless as possible. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to put this coil on. Um, the little tiny tail bit is going to go right up against the base, okay, because then that can get cut off and will disappear. Yeah. So you can see now what I mean about how it's nice and tight to the actual base it wire. It all looks perfect and fits yeah. on so smoothly, doesn't it? You can cut that little tiny tail off. Just make sure you cut it to the front. Do you cut that as close as you can? As close you as you can. You don't need to leave any, do you? No, and take your pliers and just sort of go over it quickly and make sure you, you cut any, any ends that you have to cut. Make sure you take your pliers, make sure you do give it a little bit of a squidge just to take away that sharpness. Brilliant. Okay, so this now, just move my wires a little bit out of the way. <laughs> you'll position your wires and you'll see, like I said, where they naturally go. Now this one I want to go up to the side and I want it to go in the middle of two plain wires. Okay, yep. Okay. Um, 
we're going to cut this one off now so it doesn't matter. What I want to do is just bring it through the bale and I'm going to just, I just turn that around for you. See it's gone through the bale and I'm just with my pliers all over your hand, just going to bring it across the front just to lock it into place and then I'm going to cut a tiny little edge and then I'm going to tuck that end around the back on the inside of the bale. So it's so down from the back and on the inside. Yeah, so I just want to wrap it. So I'm just going to turn it to the side so you can see. And I'm just tucking that inside. And then just, you do it a bit neater, but cut it inside. And then that's tucked up in there and that's not going to be any sharp edges. Brilliant. Um, and it's just taking that wire and just putting it there. Sorry, I've got the shakes for some reason. Fabulous. Um, okay, so that's what we would do there. So now that coiled section is secure, mm -hmm. and it's also brought up my extra length of um, wire. wire. Now what I want to do is take in one of the pieces of wire that's naturally, where, just look at it. Does it matter which piece, just whichever's jumping Not really, jumping no, out. I mean, it just whatever's going, yeah, whichever looks like it sits there nicely. It wants to go, yeah. yeah. I want one, because what I'm going to do, I'm just gonna hook that there. I'm gonna need two wires to do um, the woven bit across the front. Okay, let's okay. have a look on here. Let's have a look on, the, have a look on this part. That's it, yeah. So which bit is it on this here? This bit here. Okay, so, so we need two one. for that, and then if we just turn it to the side slightly, mm -hmm. you can see we've got three wires. You've got the coiled one in the middle, and yep. then you've got the two plain ones coming up the side, either side. I see, yeah, I okay. see those two. So have a look at the pendant. So I'm looking at this one now, and I can see there's these two wires here that are again doing that natural they angle. look in the right angle, they look at the right place. So I've got mm -hmm. one wire here that looks in the right place and then I've got this one here mm -hmm. that's in the wrong place. Okay. So it's easy enough, you just bring it to the right place, just take it around. Because again, that will get covered by that um, woven section yep. anyway. Yeah. Okay? okay. So I've just brought that round and now, sorry. It's okay. Now I might think, well actually I can take one of these to go down here because these two are now back together okay so yeah. they will you know if you think that's not in the right place pull it around and you can um you will be able to sort of put them back into position because it is obviously you're working mainly there with your one mill aren't you so yes. it's not you don't have to be really delicate no with it. no you can, can take it yeah yeah brilliant so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to put them down there for now and what i'm going to do is um lock them again they need to be locked into position so I'll take the front one, mm -hmm. and all I'm going to do is, you can see, hopefully, just down here, there will be like a little kind of gap, can you see between the stone and the section? Yeah. So what I'm going to do is just kind of, just I've got to do this so I can see, right, there you go, so I'm just going to so just literally, just literally pop, it, pop through. it through, easy, easy. Um, and play about and put it into position, um, and what you want, this is the front one, and it will just pull it. There we go, see, and that's just gone into position. Lovely. And you can see that wire there? Yeah. And we're going to keep that there. So I'm going to move that right for you there. There you go. Beautiful. So I'm going to keep that, and that will do the bottom spiral. Fab, yeah. Okay? The so main one. The main spiral at the, the bottom. The main spiral at the bottom. Again, covers everything. Um, and then the other wire that we bring down the back, mm -hmm. I'm just going to, again, just place that exactly the same as I did before. Um, you know, have a little play about Go with the position of the wires. I'm going to just repeat the same again. Okay. You're literally just looping them through yes. dead easy. Yep. Really, really easy. You can see that's just going through, just like that. Now this one, if I do this, well, you've got two wires here now. Yeah. So choose which one you think. I'm actually thinking um, this one it will be fine. Yeah. Because it's. if I show you the back, you can see it's almost locked. Yeah. And it can go in that position because it's locked into that position. Yeah. So, so that means you're not going to get any movement on that no. at all, are you? No. Which so is this exactly one here, which is coming straight down, that's going to become the bottom spiral. This one here will be coiled and come up to do a bit more of the spiral in here. Lovely. Okay. Right. Yeah. So what I'm going to do quickly is just show you these two are in a nice position. I'm going to do exactly the same. My wire's at the top because of that coil that we made. Yeah. So then again, exactly the same. Bring it round, and it's just that exact same weave. Make sure you get it all nice and tight 
and, and close to the join and then just okay so if we can just slow, show me this slowly again it's let me remember it's just loop round and around pushing it down other one yeah do you want to have a quick go oh i was wondering when you were going to ask <laughs> so am i on this bottom one now yeah so i'm going round yeah pushing it down you got perfect like now this. Let's do that. Well, <laughs> And then she just go up to the other one. No, you've got to go back around again. Oh, yes, sorry, you've only done this one once, haven't I? And then... Come on, Bex. Then you go up to the other one. And mm. then this one. Yeah. Round and push it down. It's actually really easy. This is your 04 mil, so it is quite... It's easy to use. ...malleable, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, so round and then round again. And round again. And then... And back to the other side. Onto your other leg. That is so clever. And it's easy, but just take it that time to... It is easy, yeah. isn't it? Yep, and that's and all you do. That's how you create the ladder effect on, on this one, isn't it? This kind of interwoven... That's one I made earlier. That's <laughs> one I made. We've changed colours now. I thought now. I'd go for a different colour. I like that. Mix it up. I thought, I just Laura, wanted to share... you're an expert. We'll let you. <laughs> I thought I'd be rebellious, you know. Why not? Um, it's to show that, actually, you can use different colours. You can two-tone it up a little bit. And, okay. You know, um, so, yeah, basically, that's what we've done there. Yep. And then if I just bring this straight out like this, you can see I've just done that weave. Yeah. And then all you do is fold it over the front. So okay. you can see there. So if I just, you can see, started it from there, just folded it over the front, and it's covered all of the wire work. But you've hidden all of that, haven't you yeah, now? Yeah, hidden it Fabulous. all. That really is what gives it a professional look, I suppose, yeah. isn't it? It hides everything. And hiding. even when you look at the back of them, they're quite minimal in the wire work as well. It still looks nice and tidy. Yeah, it does. So then I went on a step down here. <laughs> well, I prepped another one, so that's for then. OK, so you can see I've already done that on my wires here. Um, I've got this here. So now it's just a matter of we just want to finish the stones, uh, the, yeah. the wires, and tidy it all up. Do you want? Lovely. OK. So what I'm going to do is, you can see I've got a longer wire here and a shorter one here. Mm -hmm. So I've, I've been doing my weave. So what I'm going to do is I've just, that's what happens when you stop in the middle of doing a weave. <laughs> <laughs> Stopped on the wrong side. So what I'm going to do now is I've still got my length of wire. And what I'm going to do is I just move that one out of the way. And I'm just going to hand coil again. <coughs> I'm um, just hand coiling to finish off because I've still got that wire um, and it's a nice length again this is going to be the spiral that sits on top of the weave so if you see the pendant and the spiral this is going to cause that spiral okay. so you don't need it to be really long you just the length again of the, what you're going to need for the spiral yeah so it's probably about an inch two inch probably about two inches if I'm honest okay okay so I'm just going to quickly coil this for you and you can see even when I coil it I'm just still pushing it up make sure it's nice and close because otherwise you can get a bit of a messy sort of coil once you've got a bit of open space you can you can do, do it a lot a few easier twists and then just push it on. yeah it's only because I didn't have the open space Brilliant. push it down so I just quickly that makes it a lot quicker doesn't it yeah it's really really fast you're doing that and it doesn't matter like if you look at that you can see I've not done it really it's not nice and tight but all I can do then is just if I just do down. that, it becomes nice and so I'm just it literally holding it. Better. I'm not worried about making it too tidy because as soon as I do this, I can tidy this up anyway. Yeah, that okay. looks lovely. That's fab. So again, you just need to leave a tiny, well, probably about half a centimetre of the base wire at the end just so that you can get a grip um, to actually coil it. Because mm -hmm. if you try to coil, if you coil right up to the end and then try to coil it, your coil could start to come over it and it can break the coil as well. I see. So that's why we're trying to just, if you just leave that little bit of wire, it avoids all of that. So you can see, there we go. So I've just got that there. So I'm just going to snip that wire now. Yeah. And again, I would just give it a bit of a, see my little sharp edge? Yeah. That's just there. What I want to do is just take that down, even though it's not going to be touching the skin or anything. So I'm just going to use my pliers and just... So do you do that just in case by any chance it would catch on clothing yeah. or...? And I think it looks nice as well. So if you can see now, there's no sharp edges. Yeah. And it looks nicer. Because if even if that was spiralled, it, it was sticking up, it would catch the eye. And if you just picked it up like that, you could still feel it. You just don't... It's just about um, keeping it tidy, Very really. True. Again, I'm going to do a spiral exactly the same as just did on yeah. this spiral here. But I'm going to go in the opposite direction because I want the spiral to sit on this part of the pendant here. Okay, so again, just taking my pliers, 
and just literally form in the spiral so it sits like that. That's gorgeous. So you can see that now? Yeah. And again, you can make that any size you want. Yep. You can make that. it large, little. I just like it to tidy up and show, you know, cover all of the wire work. Yeah. Now, if I can just show you the back, mm -hmm. you can see this wire here. Okay, this is the other wire from there. So all I'm doing is I'm actually going to bring it down. If I can show that from the back, what I'm going to do is I'm bringing it down and I'm wrapping it around to the front and I'm just going to wrap it back again. So it's bringing it back round to the back. If I turn it round again, I want to bring it up to the top part. I bring it round again, and you can see there. And exactly the same way that we cut that this little coiled section here yeah. by wrapping it around the bale, that's what I'm going to do again here. So I'm going to give myself a little tiny enough just to bend it round. Okay. Yeah. If I just show this from this angle there, you can see there's the. Um, actual end and I'm just going to form that round and take that into there. So you're literally just neatening all of this so off then, and yeah. really making it I look. Just, yeah, but I like the look of the wires going around. I just like that bare and waving look coming around. So I, you don't have to do that as yeah. preference, you know. I love that. I think that's fab. We're going to show you our last bundle uh, for this afternoon. I'm going to show you this one that you've got. Completely different shaped stone. It is. But it actually gives you a really different look, doesn't it? It, it, you know, I was just playing about, I used the same theory, I did actually, there was another one over there, and a copper one, and it looks exactly like the others. Yeah. I wanted to show that, you know, you could still apply these techniques and you can, with a bit of playing about, because mm. obviously you don't have that top to bottom drill hole, Yeah. you can still create it. Absolutely gorgeous. This is your moss agate. Uh, it's absolutely beautiful. What you're getting in this puddle is you're getting your moss agate, which is drilled at the top. Let me show you these. I wonder why they're called moss agates. How strange. <laughs> they are absolutely beautiful. You've got these mossy colours. You've actually got some blues in this one. And you've also got your beautiful brown tones in here. These are huge. These are 35 mil rounds. And they're absolutely gorgeous, aren't they? They are top drilled. So like you say, for encasing, like this is absolutely perfect, isn't it? It is perfect, yeah. And I love, I love the weight on these. Again, I think they're just gorgeous. And they are all so different, aren't they? Oh, they're gorgeous. And absolutely they're, fab. The range of colours going through them are stunning. You really can hit a lot of markets with this, can't yeah, you? definitely. Because of how different they all are. You've also got your two different gauges of your wire as well. You've got your 1 mil and your 0.4 mil, which is 10 metres of copper colours. This bundle is KBGC52 absolutely beautiful gorgeous mixture look at that price <laughs> that's ridiculous and i love copper it's my favorite color combination it's absolutely beautiful copper vintage isn't it it's vintage it's strong and especially with these greens you've got very autumnal yeah well i mean look you can see it with the green there that's why yeah. i wanted to choose, show the different colors oh you're good you aren't you laura <laughs> it's absolutely gorgeous you can see on what laura's creating here how the copper works with the gold and it really is quite spectacular You've got the two different colours here. This one's the one with your jasper that we're using from the front. You can actually see how different that is in size. Look at yeah. how huge that moss agate is. Absolutely gorgeous. And I love on your moss agate as well, you can see the ladder at the side more, can't yeah. you? Yeah. Is that because of the shape or just the way you've... It was, well, basically I did do one yeah. and it is over there and it is the same as these ones. So I wanted to see it's if you really could do it that. with a different drill. But then I, I had that one and I thought, you know, I'm just gonna have a play. I love that. Based on the same theories, it just goes to show that you don't, if you don't, if, if you just go with the wire and think, oh, see what happens, that's what happens. I absolutely love that. <laughs> I think that's brilliant. So these are gorgeous. If you have loved seeing this, but you think, what else can I make with these amazing bundles that we've given you today at really extortionate prices? <laughs> and of course, your Lazy Daisy tool that you saw earlier on. All you need, my friends, is this. Your Viking Knit DVD, okay? There's about sort of 45 minutes to an hour worth on this DVD, and this really is gonna show you everything you need. Laura, you little genius. <laughs> Look at what Laura's made for me. She's shown us 
It's like I knew. It's like <laughs> she knew. In fact, this is your DVD, you know. It is, yeah. Oh, can't get enough. If you can't get enough of Laura, like I can't. <laughs> this is, how long, can I ask you, did this take you? Um, I started that on the last 20 minutes of my train journey to Birmingham, and then I finished it off whilst having a little chat with Debbie. Oh, fab. It's probably about three quarters of an hour. I love that. And but oh, I, wow. was, I was chatting <laughs> to Debbie That's at the a time. Lot. So, literally, on this DVD, you're going to be shown different techniques. No, on different. that one, we really go for showing how you can add wire. Brilliant. How you can finish the, the knit off, how you do the knit, and a bit of troubleshooting as well. But we really wanted to focus on making you confident to actually do the weave. But there is some. Um, you know, future design's gonna be, once you know how to do it in it, we've got some things up our sleeve. So you're really showing the basics all the way up yeah, to how to finish it off yeah. perfectly and how to really get the, the the best look. Yes, definitely. And I mean, if you put that, thread that through one of the pendants, you can see how it will just transform the over complete look of the pendant. Then. Absolutely beautiful. So. Now this is £4.95, which is absolutely great. It's fabulous but pretty much an hour's worth. And the great thing about DVDs is you can pause, mm. you can go, oh, let me watch that bit again. Yeah. I didn't quite get that, rewind. If you get a phone call, like, <laughs> it doesn't matter, does it? No, no, you don't you have just to be antisocial and say, excuse me, I'm crafting. You can just pause it and come back to it. <laughs> so, and you've got this then for as long as you want. And also your DVDs, it's one of those things, if you really are into jewelry making, but a little bit like me, I sometimes get a bit distracted yeah. with other types of jewelry making. You've always got this to come back to. Yeah. So even if you do take a bit of break and try macrame or something else, You've got the DVD It's good then. also for a refresher because there's something that you can do and then you, you might not do it like you say for a little while, get distracted, we all do. Um, and then you think, oh, I'm going to make a chain that go perfect with that pendant and then you've forgotten, you can just go, oh, I'll just watch the DVD again or I just need to remember how I did that little section of adding the wire in and just go straight to that section. You haven't got to watch the whole DVD to find out that one little thing you might be struggling with. I love that. That's absolutely you beautiful. Can, can you just show us how you... So this is your Viking knit chain that you've yeah. done there. I didn't have time to finish it off, um, like I, I will try and do that later, but I just to show how it, it just transforms the look of the pendant yeah. and it makes it, can we imagine giving that as a gift to somebody, you know. That's beautiful. So just show me now how we finish off that pendant, just those yep. last couple of steps. Like literally two steps now, seconds. So what you do is, um, I made a little bit of a coil already, but what I would have done is hand coiled this onto here directly. Yeah. Um, and again, like I said, I've got the longer wire here and that short wire that I'm just gonna use to do that final spiral to cover all my little bit of mess down here. Yeah, <laughs> um, it, it's, it, They're amazing, spirals are amazing for covering mess. Um, you can cut the little end off now if you want, just to make it easy to pop it onto the, um, the actual base wire, just thread that on. So what I would have done is coiled up to just gone past the spiral. Yeah. Okay, and now I'm going to take the wire, I would have cut a nice long length off, um, and then what I want to do, and if you can see, what I want to do is thread it through part of the weave. Yeah. So when I do this, what I'm doing is joining these two wires together. Sorry, my, my wire's been wrapped around. So if you see now, what I'm going to do is pull it and then that's just going to attach that wire to the frame. So that's literally just drawing the yeah, whole just wire into the Keeping it together, piece. it means it won't lift up then because it's going to be connected to the actual frame. That's you can brilliant. do that once or twice, it's up to you, so I'll just do it again quickly. Just through one of the little gaps, just thread it through. That's such a clever way of doing it because it does, it is seamless isn't it? You yeah. can't tell. No, it blends in. So there you go and then that's just attached and now that wire is secure. And again, what I'm going to do is quickly coil the rest of the wire. So you're just doing that by hand again, coil and push yeah. down. This one you do need to do by hand. You can't really pre-coil this bit because you want it to be yeah. continuous. Just pop your hands a little bit lower for yeah, me. So. Perfect, thank you. Um, and what you want to do, again, this is just going to create that final little spiral down the side of the pendant. Again, it's optional whether you want to do this or not. You can bend this wire out of the way. Once you've, again, once you've established the, um, the coil and then just quickly you can coil it a lot quicker then so I'm just quickly coiling this I'm just want to coil it as quick as I can 
You are quick at that. <laughs> do you get quicker the more you do it? Um, I suppose, yeah. I'm so used to doing it. I just do it. I mean, I've done this pendant. I did one. I did two on my way to Redditch on Saturday, uh, Friday night. So I did one on a train from Bristol to Birmingham, and then I did one on a train um, from Reddit to Birmingham to Reddit. I love that you can do this whilst you're doing something as boring as sitting on a train. Yeah, definitely, I love it. So what I'm going to do now is I've just cored that quickly. Yeah. And my wire, what I can do is just literally take your wire, use your hands, and just bring it around. And it's just done a spiral there. And then bring it around here. And again, I sewed it on the yeah. way that I just did again. So I would sew it onto just there underneath. just to attach the spirals together. Um, and then just cut that or, you know, embellish it however you want. Brilliant. And then what I would do with this is add another coil onto this one, which I'm not going to do now because I don't quite have time. But if that's coiled, you then, again, exactly the same as this, you can either do a spiral and push the spiral to it, or yeah. just imagine this was coiled. Using my hands, it doesn't matter, until you're happy. And it fiddle, move it about so it covers the actual wire work. Mm -hmm. And then you just simply would snip it and then just push that up into the, um, just hide that, so just push it up underneath and there's your pendant. I love that. You can literally create whatever look you want yeah. with that, can't you? Yeah, yeah. Because obviously you've got, you've got your bail at the top and everything that yeah. you need. Yeah. But I love all the different curling. I'm going to actually show you some of the different types yeah, yeah. you've done on here. Look at these ones, absolutely beautiful. So you've used your copper colour here, and yeah. what's this one? Antique bronze. I had a bit of antique bronze, and I thought it's got to be done. Copper and antique yeah. bronze is one of my favourite combinations at the moment. And with that ag that box one agate, yeah, just thought it was just stunning. I do really love that. So if you have got any of that colour just knocking around, you can just yeah. there's nothing stopping you. No, and playing with it. Having that bigger stone gives you more workspace so remember what I said about allowing more base wire frame because obviously yeah. everything's been created from those free base wires yeah so make sure you've got enough and then you can just really go to town on it really. you can go wh wherever you like yeah I've just got to point out this one I really like I love the st the stone you've got in here the gemstone yeah but also the back of this I actually think yeah. Could could be a piece in itself, couldn't yeah, it? Yeah. That could actually be the front. I yeah, think you could. You've you got could this beautiful it, laddering yeah. effect. It's almost like you've got two in one. Yeah, if it flips over, it's not a problem because yeah. you know. I like that nightwear. Yeah. Bit of a jazzy night out. <laughs> yeah. Daywear. <laughs> bit more reserved. <laughs> yeah. Ah, two in one. <laughs> I absolutely love that, and I really want to look at this one too. I love, 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 love this shape so this is using the gem from the last bundle yeah, isn't it that's top drilled but so obviously i had to do it a little bit differently because i had to incorporate the fact that i wasn't able to use the drill hole yeah um so i did i did use the drill hole but obviously being a different type of drill hole i kind of wrapped it i still did my bail i wrapped it through but then i kind of brought it to the back you just got to fiddle about with it a little bit more because it hasn't got that solidness of going for a stone but you can still do the locking and once you've locked it yeah you can carry on as normal that's absolutely brilliant. I think that's gorgeous. And these are obviously the, using the same colour copper yeah. and your same gem. So they are the they are the top drilled, uh, both exactly the same place. But I love how different you've made them look. Yeah. You've got the huge spiral on this one, almost like yeah. a cat, an Egyptian eye, isn't yeah. it? That one. Yeah. I absolutely love. Just goes to show that you really can adapt the design. Yeah, can't yeah. You? Just you know, have a play about it. I mean, you can go really over the top with it. You can really have a bit of fun with it, or you can keep it quite simple as well. I so, love that. Yeah. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. Thank you. I love. Good fun as well. How long have you been doing wire work for? Um, properly, probably for about four years. Like just concentrating. So it's going to take me four years to get this good. <laughs> no, I mean I've been doing this style probably for about six, seven months now, really concentrating on these woven intricate pendants because it's something I love to do. So yeah. I've really been practicing and going for it. So no, you'll be fine. I'll teach you. Well, oh, thank you. <laughs> because I was watching, I was watching half an hour of the DVD at home, and I had to stop because I got so annoyed. I had none of the equipment. I got like itchy crafting jewelry fingers. We'll have, so, a, little, we'll have a little make in a minute. New best. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks so much, Laura. So do not forget, we've got those absolutely brilliant bundles. You have got your DVD. Do not forget, if you love a bit of Laura, and let's face it, who doesn't, you've got 
almost an hour's worth of your Viking knit here. Everything from your basics, from how to set you off, all the way to how to give it that really professional finished and the really detailed bit. Don't forget, you have got all of your beautiful bundles today. We've had three amazing bundles, all of which you've used in here. Yeah, and all that would go together really well as well. If you've yeah. got all three of them, you could really mix up the colours and... Yeah. You're right. It all really, really mixed. The code we've got at the bottom of the screen is for this one you've got here with the Moss Agate, the th huge 35 mil. So absolutely gorgeous. Laura, thank you so much for your You're help welcome. today. We will see you very soon. Enjoy the rest of your afternoon.